Oh, fat he's all day long. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are doing the second unboxing, and as you know, as I said, that this is going to be carrying on, hence the same t shirt, but you're going to have to wait until, well, you probably already watched it last week. If you did watch it, thank you. If you're watching this one, go watch the other video because that's the first part of this, and this is the second part. Anytime I get like boxes like this, I will make sure I unbox them and show you on video. I have undone it and removed any labels so there is no confidential information that gets shown in it but this is usually sent by my mother-in-law so i am extremely excited to open this and have a look by the way when i say mother-in-law i do also mean my mother and brother-in-law so thank you both of them but yes um let's open this bad boy up and let's see what we got inside okay let's not talk too much and just get straight into this one this is the box nice and big we get these quite frequently and it's the first time well second time technically i've recorded it so let's see how it goes <laughs> I don't know why I'm worried about confidential. I'll keep it on my lap. But if you're not a fan of the format, I can change it. But I don't really want to do hands. I want this to be nice, relaxed. I want to be able to just chill back. You can still see all the stuff behind me. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put that on there. Pushing it back. Like one of those machines. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, uh, if you'd like to see anything or know more details about stuff, let me know. I might do a video on it and I will hit you up if I do. Anyway, first things first. Genji Pa. I've had this many times before, sandwich of Genji Pa. This is absolutely fantastic. It is basically like puff pastry with sugar on. That just tastes absolutely delicious. It's heart shaped as well. Very cute, very delicious. I wish we could get these locally because I would munch, well actually I'd probably be swelling off my chair right now because I would eat these so much. Like, because currently I'm on my own. My wife is away at the moment. So I would have these on my chest and just eat the whole thing, watching TV or whatever, so, that thing. Anyway, moving on. Following on from the San Ritsu one, we've got another thing. I'm gonna get this pronounced, I'm gonna slaughter this pronunciation. It's Hai Ke Pai. It's like, it's like the Genji Pai, but it's um, got, it's more got fruits and stuff on it. What is it? Oh yeah, liquor filled raisins. Oh. Rum raisin, anything like that, I absolutely love it. I think that's what this is. I'm literally just getting so moist thinking about eating these bad boys. So moist. Interesting. I've never had these, but I have had an explanation of these. Apparently they are like, they're super crunchy crisps, hence why they look really crunchy. They sound, they kind of look like golden grams a bit, but they're not. <laughs> There's biscuits actually you can get in Japan, which I kid, kid you not, if you've got weak teeth, never eat them. They will literally, it's like eating a brick. And they, I'm wondering if these have that sort of same thing where you bite it and it's like, you just crunch uh, too much, too much. But these, are, those biscuits are insane. You, you literally cannot eat those. You have to get hammer and chisel. But these, I'm really interested about these. Just says the, I can't read that. <laughs> got some crispies. We've got some more crispies. These ones. Oh, like Calbee. I love Calbee crisps. Most Calbee crisps are fantastic, and these look like no exception. Hamburger crisps! Oh, it's not just hamburger, these are cheeseburger. I can read the bottom bit at least. Cheeseburger! So, yes, I am really excited to try these bad boys out. Calbee crisps are fantastic, and it says Lotteria, which I think is a restaurant that I've never actually been to. We went to Mossa Burger usually when we're there, if we do have that. We don't usually go to places like that. But, oh, it also includes discount. If you're there, I am not right now. From 583 yen to 396 for a burger and chips. That's cheap, not bad, compared to McDonald's, but oh, I'll consider that a win. But yeah, these are absolutely fantastic. Excited to try these. Love, love, love Japanese crisps. They got cheeseburger crisps, they got pizza crisps. I'm in love. Interesting, interesting. Ah, Natori. So uh, these are Natori. Uh, I've had something from this company before and it does say Danish on the back. I had some salami from Natori. I did a video on it. I'll see if I can link the video, but yeah. I had that, so these are like a cheese version. That was like the most Japanese thing I've ever had, but it should be interesting. They know I love cheese, so I'm interested to see how they are. Hell are these. Sorry about the face. Oh, what's this? It says 1988. <laughs> but this, fried rice cracker salt. And it says eco on it as well. These look really interesting. They almost like, um, what are they called? Rice crackers. Maybe um, uh, maybe they are like rice crackers, but a different version with saltedness on it, rather than being seafoodish flavor. Interesting. Would love to try these. Can't read the company name. 
Nice one. These hold a very close place to my heart, these do. I absolutely love these. I can eat, I've eaten so many packs of these, it's ridiculous. I love anything peanut based, and these are like these peanut biscuits, and they just taste, they're not amazingly tasting. They just, they're just good, if you know what I mean? And they're consistent, every time you have them, they always just hit that spot. And for my peanut obsession, these really do hit the spot, they are brilliant. Their peanut snacks they have in Japan are second to none, they're brilliant. They're not, they're not overly salted, they're not overly sweet, it's just right, perfect every single time. These are your lovely, like, sticks. We got similar things to this, Derrily, Dunker things. So it's very similar sort of style. So you get potato chips, but these ones are yakitori flavored. If you don't know what yakitori is, it is the grilled chicken. So yeah, looking forward to that one. Absolutely fantastic. Look at the little, <laughs> look at the little drop on the side. He's just loving life, sitting there like, oh, fat he's all day long. They are all fantastic. And I think it also says, try our yakitori. Oh, where's she cut out? Tori. Okay, well, it's just my double. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, this one's been opened. I assume it's because either it popped in the actual box or because they were stealing some before giving it to me. <laughs> Not stealing, because they always do stuff and I love it. Right, that's the wrong one. Anyway, these are like a staple. I absolutely love these. They're like sesame flavored. They're just, they're, it's rice crackers. That's what these are. They're basically rice crackers. I love them, they're great. Easy going snack, not too high in calories. 35.8 calories, is that per? I think that's per. Yeah. That's not bad for a little snack. Pick me up a snack if you're feeling a bit sort of peckish. Great things there, really, really good. Next one, chip stuff. I thought it was salt and vinegar flavored then, but it looks like it is a seafood flavor. Seafood, seafood. I did it again. Seafood, 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 seafood flavored one. And it is uh, chip star. I think this is their essentially their equivalent to Pringles. How exciting. Are they as good as Pringles? I don't know. We got some more rice crackers. These look absolutely fantastic. Just chili flavored rice crackers, I looks like. I know. Final one. This one is Dagashi. Well, Dagashi is a very generic term. I can't really go into it much. But this, they're like almost like snacks like loads and loads of a variety of snacks and now i know what you're thinking you're probably going can you open the bag and show me what's in the bag but actually no i'm not going to i'm actually going to save this bad boy for a separate video i was going to do a part one part two because there's a lot of stuff in here and go through a bunch of dagashi snacks because honestly some of the stuff in here is ridiculously small and they don't warrant a video, they just, I just wanna go through them, how are they, are they good? And it's very exciting, I'm really excited to try this. I'm like going down the corner shop and just buying a bunch of sweets, that's essentially what it is, so exciting times. I can see some stuff that I know, some a lot of stuff I don't know as well. Look, it's got like little, like burgers or something? Like a little burger man. You have to, uh, you know, subscribe to watch those. Oh, it's hot cake, hot to cakey, that's all I remember, hot to cakey. No, no, that's everything. Done. Right, okay, I'll be trying these videos. If they don't go well, they don't go well. If they do go well, then hey, we might do more when we get more boxes. So it's just one of those things. I'm more interested in doing uh, the actual stuff in the boxes. So keep up for that. Anyway, I will catch you soon, people. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time, which will probably be on Sunday. Take it easy now. Bye-bye. <laughs>